Welcome on in. We're on season seven, episode number nineteen. How are we doing today? Who's excited for Royal Rumble number nineteen of season seven? I sure am. And today we got some returns that we haven't seen in a little while, and also we have a debut. A couple debuts, actually. Is it a couple, or is it just one? It might be two debuts, but at least for one of those debuts, I'm super, super excited. Now, a couple rumbles ago, you guys heard me be all excited for a certain um, debut, and that debut was uh, Powder Toast Man. And you knew how excited I was. Not only did he come in late, but how excited I was when he actually came in. But this debut. It's almost the same way as Powder Toast Man. I'm going to be super psyched for this debut. And I can't wait till he comes out. But I'm not going to spoil anything. So we'll leave it at that. So we're going to get this rumble started. The first participant... Captain Underpants, number one. All right. He's ready. He's primed. He wants to know who number two is. I want to know who number two is. Is it going to be the debut of who I wanted to debut, or do I want to debut later in the Rumble? Of course I want it later in the Rumble. Oh, my God. Look who's back. It's Big Baby. We haven't seen Big Baby in who knows how long. Wow, Big Baby debuted in season one. Was around for a little while. Went away, came back, went away. Maybe come back once or twice after that. And then we haven't seen Big Baby forever. What a matchup. Big Baby and Captain Underbounds. Number one and number two in this rumble. Wow. This is going to be a great matchup. And I hope... The debut of a certain superstar is not number three. So, for those that have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. You know, and go back, watch past rumbles, and look forward to newer rumbles. You guys will not be disappointed, and thank you for who have subscribed, and especially the new subscriptions that I've gotten over the weekend. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. And the bell rang, and Big Baby got Captain Underpants down right away. Wow, Captain Underpants cannot do anything against this Big Baby. Big Baby just throws Captain Underpants, and now a big splash, and bam! Oh! And we thought Captain Underpants was a big kid. I mean, Big Baby is humongous compared to Captain Underpants. Now Captain Underpants is choking Captain o Big Baby's choking at Captain Underpants with his knee. And a big huge elbow drop and Garfield the cat just came in at number three and Garfield gets pushed down. Nice clothesline from Captain Underpants on Big Baby to get Big Baby down. Big Baby right back up. Now Big Baby and Captain Underpants double team. But Garfield's like no way. He grabs both their heads and Double no double nog and knocker. Then a belly to belly from Captain Underpants on the Garfield. Then a drop kick from Big Baby. The return of Jay from Jay and Silent Bob. And the Clerks franchise and Dogma. Mall rats. Chasing Amy. You gotta love Jay and Silent Bob. Those are two characters created by Kevin Smith that are just spectacular. So we haven't seen Jay in some time. So Jay has returned. Let's see how Jay can do. Usually Jay doesn't last very long in these rumbles. Number five, Vault Boy. Beautiful drop kick there from Jay onto Big Baby. Swinging neck breaker there from Garfield onto Jay and Jay and Garfield are really going after each other. Suplex from Garfield on the Jay. 
Ball boy and Captain Underpants. Irish with Captain Underpants in the corner, then clotheslines in the corner. What is Ball boy going to do here to Captain Underpants? Look at that strength from Ball boy and Garfield with a nice swanton dive type run. They're on Big Baby, but Big Baby right back up though. Daniel Tiger, number six. Big Baby and Daniel Tiger double team. Captain Underpants, Captain Underpants like, nope. Another double noggin knocker there from a double team attempt. Daniel Tiger, I swim to the ropes and then power slam from Big Baby on Daniel Tiger. Daniel Tiger right back up. Garfield and Ball Boy are still after each other. Captain Underpants and Jay. Look at that move from Jay on the Captain Underpants to that arm drag. Here comes Gumball at number seven. So far, the mystery debut of the person I'm so excited for is not coming yet. I really hope he has a really late number. Nice arm drag there from Jay on to Captain Underpants. Now Jay and Daniel Tiger. Jay misses the move on Daniel Tiger. And then Daniel Tiger is now focusing on Captain Underpants. But Jay wants Daniel Tiger in the worst way. And here comes participant number eight. Yosemite Sam. Look at those hits from Ball Boy on a gumball. So, <clears throat> if you guys are not familiar with the rules of a Royal Rumble, in order to, to lose this match, you need to be thrown over the top rope and out of the ring completely. And you can only have eight competitors in the ring at one time. So as soon as one of these competitors gets eliminated of about a minute or a few seconds later we'll get a countdown clock again as you saw for the eight that came in and then the next participant will come till we get to 30 we have 30 participants in this rumble and only one can survive so this is kind of a recap if you didn't know and so far in this particular rumble which is awesome is we have not gotten an elimination yet these are the type of rebels I love. That, you know, these participants can survive a while in the ring. And then there's some rumbles where someone will come in and then someone will start cleaning house. And then our participants come out really fast and then it's kind of a shorter rumble. But when the people don't want to get eliminated and try really hard to stay in, we seem to have a nice long rumble. And Garfield's in trouble. In this particular case, with Captain Underpants, if he can get Garfield onto his stomach, Garfield would be eliminated. But Garfield just hit Captain Underpants and survived. Garfield takes Captain Underpants out by his knee. The back of his knee, that is. And look at this move on Daniel Tiger on the Volt Boy. Ooh, Volt Boy. Head's got to hurt now. Big baby. And Daniel Tiger. Body slam, gumball, body slam. Daniel Tiger, belly to belly, Garfield. Daniel Tiger and Yosemite Sam. Bulldog from Captain Underpants on the Vault Boy. Garfield and Daniel Tiger. Oh, Garfield misses because Daniel Tiger decides to use his raw strength there on Yosemite Sam and just deadlifts him up into a gorilla press slam. Shows off his strength. And throws him right down. Jay misses a move from the second rope. Because Tammy Sam was like, raise the roof. Ooh, ooh. Is this it? Is Big Baby going to be eliminated? Jay has eliminated Big Baby. That's huge. Because Tammy Sam is stunned thanks to that power bomb from Daniel Tiger. Face Buster from Ball Boy on Captain Underpants. Gumball was eliminated. Wow. But that was huge of Jay to eliminate Big Baby. I thought Big Baby was going to go coast to coast. Baby Captain Underpants can go coast to coast. So we have two participants eliminated. That gives us six participants. So two fresh competitors are able to come out right now. Well, not at the same time, obviously, but... We can get the next competitor out here in just like a minute, and then... 
No, put seven in the ring. Then like a minute later, another one can come out and we can fill up the ring for eight competitors again. But who's going to be number nine? Who is it? I'm nervous. Oh, whew. Number nine, Butthead. Nice knee there from Ball Boy on the Garfield. I'm actually really impressed with Jay. Usually Jay does not do very well. And it looks like Jay's about to get eliminated here by Ball Boy. Daniel Tiger is stunned in the corner. And Jay is holding on. And he uses that right hand and hits Ball Boy right in the face. Ball Boy with a beautiful kick off the second rope and number 10, the return of Godzilla. You know, it might be only one debut today in this Rumble. Come to think of it. Oh, Daniel Tiger's been eliminated by Captain Underpants. I mean, it might be two debuts, but I believe it's one. Oh man, if Godzilla didn't stop Captain Underpants, I think Captain Underpants could have eliminated Garfield. But there goes Daniel Tiger doing the slow walk back to the dressing room area. Yosemite Sam is still in here. Jay is still in this one. Number one participant that came out at number one. Captain Underpants is still in it. Godzilla's in trouble. Nice suplex from Garfield on Yosemite Sam. But Head's doing some laps. Godzilla could be done. Godzilla's gone. Just like that, Garfield eliminated Godzilla. Can he eliminate Jay too? No, Jay is not ready to go. Walter, number 11. Whew. The anticipation for this debut. Oh, wow. You know, I should have probably put the control on myself and you know, wait for the the play mode of this debut, but you know what? I think the AI, AI will do just fine. But I had trying to get rid of all boy. What, Jay was, what, number four in this rumble? And he's still in it. Wow. Like I said, Jay in the past has come and gone. He's been in for a little while. You know, in our seasons, and then he'll vanish for a while. But every time he's come in, he has not lasted very long. But this Jay, no ring rust on this one, and he's done, unfortunately. And Garfield has just been eliminated as well. Speaking of Jay, here comes his best friend, Silent Bob. Ball Boy has just been eliminated. And Silent Bob's gone. Just like that, Yo 70 Sam got rid of him. Wow. See, this is what I was talking about. Some people come in, and they're gone, and then, like, they'll come in, they'll be eliminated right away, or someone like Captain Underpants will start cleaning the house. We had a full ring, now we have four. Nice belly-to-belly -belly there from Yosemite Sam on to Captain Underpants. Fisherman suplex from Walter on the butt head, and Yosemite Sam's in trouble. No, Walter will not let Captain Underpants eliminate Yosemite Sam. Short clothesline from... Captain Underpants on to Walter. Butthead prevents Captain Underpants doing whatever he was going to do to Yosemite Sam. Walter picks up Butthead. Gives Butthead the Snake Eyes. Here comes Squirtle at number 13. Belly to belly from Yosemite Sam on to Captain Underpants yet again. Squirtle Irish whipped into the corner. DDT from Yosemite Sam on to Walter. Nice move there from Squirtle on Yosemite Sam. Ooh, missed attempt drop kick there from Squirtle on Yosemite Sam, and that hurt Squirtle. Yosemite Sam misses a drop kick on Squirtle. Here we go, number 14. This just in. All the way from News Channel 4 from San Diego, California. 
Ron Burgundy. The anchor man himself. Scotty Scotch Scotch Scotch. I love Scotch. Scotty Scotch Scotch. Ron Burgundy, everybody. And Walter has just been eliminated by Captain Underpants. This is the debut of Ron Burgundy. I'm so... Oh, beautiful drop. You're going butthead to eliminate him. And here comes Sergeant Adrian at number 15. Oh, look at that wheelbarrow into the bulldog from Ron Burgundy from the second rope. Wow, Ron Burgundy is unstoppable. When Ron Burgundy is on, you watch. Oh, Squirtle with a drop kick on Ron Burgundy in the corner with Ron Burgundy with a reversal. Hatred in Yosemite Sam. Hatred with a big boot on Yosemite Sam. Suplex from Captain Underpants on Ron Burgundy. Hatred in Burgundy now. Captain Underpants and Squirtle. And look who's curious about a rumble again. It's Curious George. Oh my goodness, look at George. George has been to Pac-Man's gym, it looks like. George has been to the gym during this time away. I mean, Curious George must have stopped being curious about these rumbles and was gone for a while, but I guess he's curious about winning his first rumble again. Because every time Curious George would come in, he'd come close to winning rumbles. But he just was not curious enough to win a rumble. And King Shark at number 17 has just entered. And Ron Burgundy's taking it easy. Squirtle's taking it easy. Ooh, backstabber from King Shark onto Hatred. Spinebuster, huge from King Shark onto Captain Underpants. Squirtle thrown over him, but George cannot eliminate him. What's Ron Burgundy trying to do? Ron Burgundy's getting pushed by King Shark. Reversal from King Shark on the Hatred. Here comes King Kong. The return of King Kong. Oh, beautiful stunner from Squirtle on to George. George is now stunned. <clears throat> Ron Burgundy with a reversal. Captain Underpants, remember folks, was number one who, who came out at number one and he's still in it. Oh, Ron Burgundy just got tripped by King Shark. Oh, nice drop here from Squirtle on the O70 Sam. Hatred thrown over and hatred eliminated by Captain Underpants from all people. Ooh. A knee right to Ron Burgundy's kidneys and then a stomp to the lower back, Ron Burgundy. Now. Some kind of lock, headlock type move. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Ron Burgundy, can he eliminate his second opponent? No. He cannot eliminate Squirtle. King Kong taking it easy. At least King Kong's return was much better than Godzilla's return. Jeez. And Silent Bob's return, too. I mean, gosh, Silent Bob came in, was gone. Godzilla came in, was gone. Beautiful move from Curious George onto Ron Burgundy. Oh, well, Curious George could have been curious to eliminate Ron Burgundy, but then. He got curious and decided to go some someone else. Here comes Charmander at number 19. King Shark and King Kong. Nice arm drag from King Kong on to uh, Captain Underpants. Captain Underpants right back up. And then King Kong just couldn't hold Captain Underpants up anymore. Oh, look at that reversal from Yo 70 Sam. We were going for Eric Rana from Charmander, but then he stopped it and powerbombed him. Nice reversal from Curious George. Right into a backstabber onto King Shark. Yo 70 Sam. Oh, I thought I was going to get rid of Squirtle there. Squirtle still holding on. Ron Burgundy and George. Ooh, nice neck breaker there from Charmander onto Ron Burgundy. Curious George 
Lifts up Ron Burgundy. Irish strips him into the corner. Oh no, no. Is this it for my Ron Burgundy? No, Ron Burgundy is still in this. Oh, Squirtle has finally been eliminated. Yosemite Sam just throws him out. Nice move from Ron Burgundy onto George. DDT from Yosemite Sam onto Captain Underpants. Captain Underpants right back up. King Kong with a huge jackknife powerbomb onto Ron Burgundy, and Ron Burgundy is stunned. And now he just gets stomped in the face by Charmander. Ron Burgundy gets right back up, though. But he's still stunned. I don't even think Ron knows where he is. Looks like he's singing Afternoon Delight to himself there. And then he focuses back on what he needs to do. And immediately goes right after Curious George. Griddle press slam from Captain Underpants on Yosemite Sam. And then a clothesline from Captain Underpants on to Ron Burgundy. Ron Burgundy right back up, though. King Kong and King Shark after each other. Oh, King Kong misses a Superman punch on Ron Burgundy. But DDT's him instead. And in that number 20, we have good old Charlie Brown. King Shark with a double under a hook power bomb there. Yosemite Sam and Curious George, it looks like. Ron Burgundy and Captain Underpants and Captain... Oh! Ron Burgundy is safe for a moment. Ooh, Captain Underpants almost eliminated Ron. I, Charlie Brown gets Irish whipped into the corner, but no one goes after him. King Shark Irish whipped into the ropes. King Shark is safe. Big move from King Shark onto King Kong. Ron Burgundy and Charmander now. Charlie Brown with an RKO on to Curious George. Curious George is now curiously stunned. And you know, 70 Sam trying to get rid of the number one person in this rumble. Person that drew number one, Captain Underpants, but you know, 70 Sam, I don't think can do it. Ooh, guys, pay attention. There you go, King Kong has been eliminated. He was against the ropes. Finally someone saw it and took care of him. And Charlie Brown got eliminated too. No. Oh. Disappointment in Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown just got in there. Oh, man. Ron Burgundy has eliminated Yosemite Sam. Neckbreaker from Charmander on to King Shark. Ron Burgundy is slowly getting himself up there in the corner. Ooh, nice move from Charmander to stun King Shark. Two clotheslines from Captain Underpants to knock down Charmander and George. Ron Burgundy's trying everything he can to eliminate Captain Underpants, who, remember, was number one. And number 21 is about to enter in at Samurai Jack. Like I told you guys, I believe Captain Underpants can go coast to coast. Drawing number one, being there until the very end. Powerball from King Shark on a sam Samurai Jack. King Shark and Captain Underpants and Captain Underpants. Ooh, King Shark hesitated and then focuses his attention on George and he snaps suplexes George. Number 22, Trap Jaw. Curious George and Samurai Jack now. Trap Jaw goes after Curious George. Curious George with a reversal. Clothesline from Charmander onto Samurai Jack. The nice spinning kick there from Charmander on Trap Jaw, who is now stunned. Curious George puts Charmander in the corner. Ooh, Ron tried to get rid of Captain Underpants again, but Captain Underpants was like, no way. Napa, so there is a second debut. I wasn't sure about that, but yes. So, the other debut in today's Rumble is Napa. I believe Napa's from the Dragon Ball series. So this was Napa's first appearance.
but a choke slam from Ron Burgundy on a trap chop. Samurai Jack into a gorilla press slam from King Shark, and then King Shark with a nice standing moon salt on the Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack right back up though. And now King Shark put Samurai Jack in the corner with the Snake Eyes and Trap Jaw got eliminated during that whole ordeal. See how well this debut of Napa does. So far the debut of Ron Burgundy has been spectacular. I'm so excited for Ron Burgundy. Nice elbow from Ron. Now Ron is stunned. Too many scotches there, Ron. Too much partying after a successful newscast for being the number one news team. Napa gets right back up and look at this move from Charmander onto uh, Captain Underpants who is still in this and Kato number 24 Bull Nelson slam from Kato onto Charmander and Kato just saved Ron Burgundy's life Captain Underpants, who is number one in this rumble, is now stunned. Look at those hits from George onto Ron Burgundy. King Shark and Kato. King Shark with his suplex into a body slam. Ron Burgundy's up now. George is stunned. Ron Burgundy gets out of Charmander's move. Is this it? Is Napa done? Can Samurai Jack eliminate Napa? Kato's trying everything he can to get King Shark down and finally does. Charmander's hanging in by a thread there on the top rope. End of day. Oh no, George got out of the end of days from Kato. Forearm from behind from Napa onto Samurai Jack. Man, Ron Burgundy has tried everything he can to get rid of. Trying to get rid of Captain Underpants and has not been successful yet. Captain Underpants has tried so many times. To get rid of Ron Burgundy. Ron Burgundy is yet again stunned. Thanks to that belly to belly from Captain Underpants. George Irish hooked into the corner. Then an elbow from George onto Charmander. Look at those hits from Napa. Then he gives up. And King Shark's a sitting duck. King Shark. Guys, King Shark is there. You can eliminate him. George, turn around. I'm curious George could have turned around and clotheslined him out. Says go after Kato. Then DDT's. Come on, George. George with a super kick and got rid of King Shark. Now Samurai Jack is trying everything he can to get rid of Captain Underpants, but no way, Captain Underpants is not ready to go. Is this it for Samurai Jack? Hesitation, hesitation, big time from Captain Underpants for some reason. Charmander is stunned. Ooh, both Napa and Ron Bergen and the, the two debuting superstars could not Eliminate Kato. Kato Irish Ron Burgundy in the corner, then goes right after Curious George. What a miss from Captain Underpants on Ron Burgundy. And Ron Burgundy has finally done it. Ron Burgundy has finally eliminated Captain Underpants after so many tries. And now Samurai Jack is trying to get rid of Ron Burgundy. I mean, Ron Burgundy and Captain Underpants going back and forth this entire rumble since Ron Burgundy came in and someone finally got rid of Captain Underpants and Samurai Jack has just been eliminated by Charmander and here comes a beaker at number 25 nice suplex from Ron Burgundy on the Napa now Ron Burgundy and Kato who are right to the eyes and then a hit and then another hit and then a beautiful kick Nice combination there from Ron. Nice takedown from Curious George. Beaker and George are the only ones up. Knee from Beaker on the, the knee onto Beaker from Curious George. Is what I was trying to get at. Wiley Coyote, number 26. <coughs> Excuse me, Napa. His debut is done. <coughs> 
Curious George was curious, and he eliminated him. Kato just eliminated Charmander. Oh, beautiful spear from Curious George. He didn't know Curious George had that in him. And now Ron Burgundy is stunned thanks to that spear. Wiley Coyote goes right after Curious George. Russian leg sweep. Belly to belly from Kato on to Beaker. Wiley Coyote and Kato now. Here comes Faker at number 27. Some stomps from Beaker onto Ron Burgundy, but Ron Burgundy up and then beautiful one-handed Bulldog onto Kato. Faker and Ron Burgundy now. George has got nobody. Who's curious George gonna be curious about? He closed line Ron Burgundy and then went right through him and went right after Faker. Look at that choke from Curious George on the Faker. Oh, that's using your monkey abilities there, George. That's right, you can strut your stuff there, buddy. Bob's big boy, number 28. Wiley Coyote's trying everything he can to lift up Ron in the corner, try to eliminate him. Bob's big boy misses double axe handle. Now he sees George. Gorilla Press slams George, but George reverses into a DDT. Kato with a knee to George's gut. Beaker and Ron, Faker and Wiley Coyote. Kato and George. Here comes Darwin at number 29. Remember last time Darwin came into a rumble? Not last rumble, but the rumble before that. I believe he was either number one or number two. So this is a really good number for Darwin. This could be Darwin's match. Kato with the gorilla press on Wiley Coyote and Wiley Coyote down. George with a knee to Ron Burgundy. Beaker is about to get eliminated. And Beaker did get eliminated and Ron Burgundy used his bootay. I believe we have one more participant to come. I believe Darwin was number 29, so we should have a 30th participant, then we'll be down to our final eight in this Rumble, episode number 19 of season seven. I hope you guys are enjoying this Rumble. And remember, side note, that this is the only um, show of the day, because we will not be doing two shows again for a little while until things can get caught back up and also I'm more than likely moving this week so it might be a delay on a a rumble or two this week I don't know yet I hope not I don't think it will be but I'm going to try and record as many rumbles as I can so that we can be caught up just you know giving you guys a side note that I'll be moving. And super kick Wiley Coyote is gone. Free Willie at number 30. End of day's attempt, but George reverses it. So we are down to our final seven. We were going to be down to our final eight, but Wiley Coyote got eliminated. Ron Burgundy has finally eliminated Curious George, Baker, and Willie. So anyways, but yes. I'm not moving very far at all. <laughs> I'm actually moving next door to the uh, townhouse next to me, so that's pretty exciting. So I'm not going very far, but I'm not sure about internet service there yet. So that's why I was saying I might not have a video up for a day or so. I'll probably have them up every day, but just to let you guys know, just in case you're curious, well, Curious George isn't in there anymore, so he won't be curious about it. Anyways, back to the action. Darwin is stunned. So we have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six. Our final six. Kato, Baker, Bob's Big Boy, Darwin, Free Willy, who was number 30, and the debuting Ron Burgundy, who I believe was number 14 in this rumble. Nice headbutt from Ron Burgundy onto Willie. Darwin thrown into the ropes. Bob's big boy with the sidewalk slam on to Kato, and Kato is stunned. Ron Burgundy and Darwin. 
Darwin into the ropes by Ron. Ron is going to try to eliminate Darwin. Baker is shake, shaking, choking Willie. That sounded wrong. Now, anyways, uh, Darwin has been eliminated by Ron Burgundy, and looks like Baker is about to eliminate Ron. Ron's dreams look like it's, they're about to end. We're down to our final five. Oh, come on. No double teaming. No. Ron Burgundy has failed his debut match. But Ron Burgundy lasted quite a while in this rumble. You got to give it up for my boy Ron. Bob's big boy has been eliminated. We're down to our final three. Free Willy, who has won a rumble. Uh, Faker has won a rumble. And I do not think Kato has won a rumble yet. So these are our final three. End of days. And a reversal from that end of days. Willie just can't get those end of days on. And Faker puts Willie into the ropes and lifts him up with the gorilla press. And Willie is eliminated. It's down to Faker and Kato for our final two in episode number 19. Who's going to go? into the Season 7 Championship. Will be Kato for the first time, or will be Faker for, I believe, his second win? Because I don't think Kato has won a Rumble. And Faker thrown over, and he is done. Ladies and gentlemen, Kato has won his first Rumble. Congratulations to Kato for winning episode number 19. What a spectacular rumble this was. I'm pretty jazzed about this one, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as me bringing it to you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. <coughs> Excuse me. So, let's see. I will be seeing you guys in episode number 20 tomorrow. So, enjoy the rest of your Monday. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Until then, I'm out of here. Bye for now.